Each day, Mrs. Master Cola begins with warm up problems. I mean, under one, whatever. Uh, you get one over three to the six, mm -hmm. and then you set the schedule to be less than four digits, you do one to the six, and then you get one over seven to the Students are given a road map at the beginning of the lesson so they know what's coming up in the lesson. During this part of the lesson, the students check their exit slip from the previous day. So the question that they are trying to solve is how do we simplify 6 to the negative 4th power? So hopefully you know. Yeah. is the mini lesson packet for you all to have. All right, so we are working with rewriting complex expressions. So that's that success criteria that I can write and solve complex. And what am I going to distribute it to? Uh, the five, the That y goes with the negative 5. Oh. And the 2. Yep. So I'm going to get 2 to the 3rd power, x to the 3rd power, y to the negative 15. Not negative, so it stays. x to the 3rd is not negative, so it stays. The y to the negative 15th is negative, so to rewrite it as a positive exponent, moves to the denominator and becomes a positive exponent. Everything else stayed put. It wasn't negative, so everything else stays put. Is that an answer? Nope. Why not? Because you still have a bunch of points. I still do, right? Can I simplify this? What is 2 to the 3rd? What's 2 times 2 times? I see something on the top and the bottom that I need to do something. What do I need to do for that? Josh. So give me a, on a scale of 1 to 5, 5. I feel a lot better than yesterday. 1, still need a lot of help. So I know kind of where to go around. Show you what kind of error is first. Um, I like the way that it allows us to work differently, whether in a whole group, or partnerships, or independent, because I usually don't like working in groups. It allows me to get my stuff done at my own pace without having to worry about my partner needing help on something or without always having to follow what the teacher said. Okay, you have about a minute left, so what you need to do right now is you need to check the keys, finish up the problem that you're on, and turn it into a basket, head back to your seat. During the next part of the lesson, the students were given flexible options in where to continue their learning. They could continue to work in a group if they needed more support. They were allowed to work independently if that's how they learned best. They were also given the opportunity to work with a partner. Um, well, I like this math class because, like, right here and back there and these two tables and that table right there, they're all partner work, so you and a partner or you and a buddy can work together like me and Connor are doing. 
And then over in this corner, you have uh, people who want to work alone that think that they want to work alone. And then up front, you have uh, some people that, well, if you want to work along with the teacher, you can work along with the teacher. So I think yes, we kind of like how like we get to do stations because, like, first of all, we can be more interactive with things like that and help us learn better. And uh, it's just a little more exciting way to learn. And, and right yeah. now we're playing a little like exponent game, I guess. So I go, I roll first, and he'll roll, and then we'll write down the numbers. The learning strategists also helped lead a strategy group within the class. During the remaining part of the lesson, the students were allowed to participate in various stations. Some stations included games, while others included puzzles. Once they completed the stations, they were then given the opportunity to review for their quiz for the next day. Among the stations, there were also challenge activities that students could participate in. So, Kevin, what do you use um, for technology that helps you in math class? Uh, I use uh, Google Translator for help me translate some words I know, so I can understand that. So you put the word exponent in, and then English, and then it transmitted it yes. to Vietnamese. Yeah. And, that, and you use that during math class to help you with vocabulary and such, vocabulary yep. words? Yep.